Um, with that said, well, let me just tell you three of the things that I'm focused on. The main things that I want is, as you can see here in the banner, public safety is number one. Right now, we have crime is really going up. And how do we build a city? Okay. So how do we build a city if people feel unsafe? Okay, I've been walking around the town and people are saying that they're getting broken into, right? Shops around the strip here, the glasses are being broken, right? The business for some people because of the pandemic is doing pretty low. The business is doing pretty low. But we have to make sure that we make this city more attractive, more beautiful, and more transparent. Another big program that I want to implement is for pro programs for the youth. Sometimes we don't think about the future, about the youth, but I want to make sure that our city is focusing on the youth. Because the youth are the future. Right? I was once a kid. We were all once kids. And I want to make sure that we have the proper programs. City of San Gabriel does not even have a little league for softball. They used to have a little league for softball, but now they have to go somewhere else to play. So we need to bring back those programs. We bring the foot, the soccer leagues, the football leagues, you bring back the, the little leagues, and you bring back other sports and you put, you set us up and you propel us for the future. How nice would it be that we have a league for ping pong? A lot of people, like my wife is from China, I've been to China and a lot of people like ping pong over there. We have a heavy Asian community here. So how about we do that? We have a league here in the city of St. Gabriel for ping pong. Wouldn't that be nice for the kids? I mean, even adults play ping pong. We gotta keep these kids engaged and, and entertained. You do that, and now you have more traffic in the city of St. Gabriel. We have more revenue in the city of St. Gabriel, and we have uh, more people shopping and dining in the restaurants here. But we gotta make sure that the city's safe. We gotta make sure that the city looks beautiful, and then we also have to make sure that, that we have the proper programs. And the one program that I wanna stress the most that I will push for is the youth program, which, is the, which, uh, which deals with civically engaging our kids. Because the future is gonna be on them, but we have to teach them how to be civically engaged. If they don't know how to be civically engaged, then what do we expect when we get random people in, in politics that are making moves for themselves and lining their pockets? What do we expect? They don't know how to be civically engaged, but then maybe we should, and not, not maybe, then we, we will make programs for them so they can be civically engaged. How to deal with politics and how to be a volunteer and, and bringing up volunteerism. That's very, very important for the city. But we have to start at the grassroots. We have to start and teach them all the right ways so that when, we, when they grow up, then they know the right, that they know what's available for them. And I see one of my previous interns here that's also a volunteer, Tiffany. She was part of a program that I that implemented when I was the Monterey Park Vice President of the Monterey Park Chamber of Commerce about five years ago, Tiffany. Yeah. We had a program. Do you want to explain the program for me? I know it's the, I'm putting you on the spot. Can you explain the program that we had to make sure that you were civically engaged and what you learned from it? So hi everyone, my name is Tiffany and my freshman year of high school I worked with George over the summer for the Monterey Park Chamber of Commerce internship. With that internship, he gave me the opportunity to talk to local business leaders, people who own restaurants. They taught me, they taught me, sorry. Sorry, they taught me about like how businesses uh, work out in like the city. And as a person interested in business myself, this opportunity really opened my eyes to like how the business world really works. I got to 